What was that Jordan Peterson clip? He, he's like, if you're a woman and I haven't, and we haven't met, then I'm going to speak to you from a stereotypical <laughs> place. If I don't know your gender. Gonna, I, if That's I my don't new have, impression. <laughs> I'd still hire. Jordan Peterson, if I don't know your gender. It's fully just curvy. <laughs> this is Miss Biggie. Yeah, 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 yeah Miss Biggie. I don't know your gender. <laughs> yeah, di- the- yeah, different fucking Muppet. Yeah. Right. It's, it's yeah, jo- there was a Jordan clip of him dark. being like, <laughs> there are feminine boys. There, what are we going to do about that? What is a like fem boy? That, exactly. Really? Just that clip. Yeah, it's from that uh, Matt Walsh yeah. documentary. Did you see that dude who, at CPAC who's just like, who has like literally a fucking Walsh and Gromit face and is like, <laughs> transgenderism needs to be extinct. Like he literally said that shit. <laughs> he literally- Wait, was he English? Was he no, British? No, 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 no. Oh man. That would have made yeah. it. Uh, that he's just a normal guy, but man, if he was- Oh. oh no. 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 Because they only go from- to, that's the it's only mouths they have like for Walsh and Gromit. It's not right. like any gender I've ever heard of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The thing that the thing that's yeah, the thing about those guys is that we they we, ha, they're they're not great. <laughs> they're, not, they're not great. Can I say something on that? Yeah. That I didn't like, get to say when we were talking about um gender when when Brian was on. Mm. Oh yeah. Because I was like I kept going like, what's the point of the categories there? Like really? And I, and I said, you know, it's control, it's domination, it's to manipulate, control, you know, contain. And naturally so many people hear that and they're like, well, you know, there are physical differences between, you know, human beings, Mm -hmm. right? Like that's just a, that's just a scientific reality. And like my whole thing is, to what extent should those differences <laughs> determine anything? Right. anything? Right. Yeah. I'm like, a, a hospital health? Yeah. Which, by the way, pertains to them right. and them only, like their body? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. So beyond that, yeah, what is the implication of you underscoring that? Which yeah. also hasn't even been used for that <laughs> like that right, yeah. most scientific <laughs> right. research what most medical research has been <laughs> right. done on fucking men's bodies right. mm-hmm. as though everybody just whole cloth can be uh can be treated by the same metrics so why then when it comes to matters outside of people's health are we now so concerned about the differences between men and women's bodies right i mean it's you know, right there it's so obvious it's yeah. right in front of your fucking face. Yeah. Like if you if you believe that men should dominate, just go Andrew Tate with it and just say, say it. just come out with it. Don't do right. don't try and do this like uh, listen, well, technically listen speaking. the science the science doesn't care about all of that. It's like right. it's well uh, technically speaking, okay, men's let's, and women's let's lean into the logos here. Divided. What is the point what is the point beyond right. And um, I've I feel like I've I've said this a couple times. I don't remember if I've I don't remember what I've said on the show and what I've said just in private. But like <laughs> this this whole notion of like we have to defend women's sports as though we give a fuck about women in any other context in the right. world. Like why do we why are why are people who could not name? So it was a guy who would actively shit on women's sports if it was on TV right. in any context. Right. <laughs> Like, it's yeah, like, well, look at this. It's Maybe like, a real basketball game will come on soon after. It's right. Like, it's like, right. if you can't name me a female athlete who does not have a fat ass, then you don't get to talk about this. <laughs> you know? If you only know, like, right. gymnastics. If you don't know gy- any stats. If you know, like, Serena Williams and only gymnasts, you don't, I don't give a fuck what you think about women's sports. You're I not don't selling care. it. Yeah, you're not selling the argument. Right, yeah. exactly. And then they they say all this shit about, uh, well, there's men in women's sports. I'm like, dog. It sounds looking at the numbers, I feel like that's what would make you watch women's sports. So what so what yeah. is the I don't understand what the problem is. You know? Dude, and it's you, sorry, I'm just No, no it first. just it just feels like once you break it down to a certain level, it's it feels so explicitly <laughs> Like the last, <laughs> the last frontier yeah, the last of justifying of, of domination, yeah, of yeah. justifying uh, gender hierarchy. Yeah, that it's like, it's it feels very funny to say nobody watches women's sports in defense of uh, women in a sense, but like it just it's so obviously the last thing that you have to hold on to. 
to justify these binaries when everywhere else in the in life in the world it just doesn't fucking matter for any reason other than to dominate and just look at a, look at a fucking household who does all the work in a household in I know we we claim to be in this progressive it's 2023 women are getting women are girl bosses now but still are going home and doing 90% of domestic labor for no <laughs> for no money uh and then we use that to justify every other form of domination that's ever uh that's ever occurred throughout history so like and it's something inherent it's worth underscoring it's something inherent in that gender binary that creates that that's those circumstances to begin with the yeah. fact that this person is woman and you are man you are raised you are raised up to expect certain things from each other right and it just so happens that the ones who are labeled women are expected to get the short end of the stick right around a lot of different things and the you ones know? who are men are raised to be fucking devastated if they don't effectively have a household full of servants. Mm. That's what a family effectively and, is, the way society is set up right now. And they're expected to use their bodies as cannon fodder. And yeah, cannon. I'm gonna. I'm a man. I have to be in pain. I just have to. I have mm -hmm. to kill myself some way. Got to feel the burn, dude. Got to. Yeah. If feel you're not feeling that burn, burn, you're not burn, burn. <laughs> <laughs> to that point about like you're holding on to the you're just clinging to the last possible mm -hmm. shit this new trend of over the last you know four to seven years of we got to save the children the children are at risk oh they're gonna take God. the children that combined <laughs> with the the christianity sort of apexing now we're afraid of demons and they're look at hollywood i mean it's like literally <laughs> like 90s bullshit that's that's what's giving me you want to talk about the seeds of something horrifying to come mm, that's yeah. giving me christian mm. white nationalist oh, like ethno yeah, state fascist vibes yeah. out the ass because they are clinging to they're 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 like this is the last i it's literally save the children that's all we got left is save the fucking children yeah and I, what's just, fucked also someone was making you know obviously a super reactionary point but they were like po they posted a picture of like amazon uses tape with like like a intersectional lgbtq mm -hmm. like trans oh, yeah. flag and it's like it's it makes my head hurt because the those two that dichotomy benefits itself it's like the yeah. the liberal corporation using that benefits itself because it, it 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 also ratchets up the tensions on the other side and right. vice versa mm -hmm. it's like it's like i don't know it keeps it in this in this game of of, of just like this binary of just yeah it's like, like back it, and forth it tension literally there. the fact that amazon this giant evil insane corporation does that yeah. is so much easy fodder for every reactionary to be like look we don't have to give a shit that trans legislation like legislation right. on trans rights is right. going they crazy they have fucking amazon jeff bezos controls right. controls right. what happens to trans right. people right. they have power and it's like because... isn't that just so convenient that that's there uh -huh. during right. all this uh -huh. that right. all that's pumped up in all of our media we're about to have the fucking oscars what the fuck do you think that's gonna be right, mm, right. it's fucking high school graduation fucking the first ever this and this and that <laughs> yeah. it's it's fucking um what is it called in in the yearbook where it's like most likely to whatever it's literally like that's what all these things turn into and it's like right i don't know the way that feeds off of itself is yeah. it's crazy because people can't get outside of that yeah they can't be like maybe maybe this both sides of this are 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 bullshit right you know what I and mean? to your point about kids it's like they're we're willing to go and make all these like violent political campaigns and shoot up a fucking drag story time show or whatever but we're not willing to me. but we're not willing to fucking even examine the structural possibilities of just like moving beyond this nuclear family dynamic and saying maybe that maybe that fucking phrase that we've been using for that we grew up with it takes a village to raise a fucking child maybe there's actually some merit to that mm. that thing that we've been hearing our whole fucking yeah. lives and never seen in practice like the oh this is reminding me of when we were talking about gender last time but like the fact that we're at a period in history where 
people who believe themselves to be radical are like so adamantly defensive of this idea of a two parent household when in reality most people throughout history would be like just fucking two mm -hmm. yeah that's right. all you got no aunts or uncles no, or cousins no nothing. aunts uncles cousins no siblings taking like just two people and they also got to go out well, all day drive and put, a beamer to work. right and they got to put food on the fucking table and a lot of people who are in this position also have a nine to five taking <laughs> care of taking care of other people's kids because those people don't have, like what the fuck are we what are, what are we doing what it's is ridiculous it's fucking insane bro like when you really think about like how does he i don't even know how it works mathematically Dude, I don't even yeah. get how heterosexual people work. I don't even understand how that works. <laughs> I don't even know how that, that exists. Right. It's like, what are you, you've met every man? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> no man's ever just going to come and just confidently like suggest he give you head and you're going to say no and you're just no. You know that, 8 billion, you know that? <laughs> you know that you're going to fire every, I don't know no that. to every request. I don't know, dog, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I feel, yeah. it's just a crazy arbitrary yeah. and also yeah. like i refuse to believe any smart person is straight <laughs> <laughs> i refuse to believe it it's like no right. that brain's got gay shit happening <laughs> too, much, too much excess genius there there's something going on right 